What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be taking on Ike and Sorin's Banjara battle and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys 3 free to play Inferno solutions with absolutely no skin intents and at the end I also do a lunatic solution and summon on this Banjara battle banner. So this is going to be my first team, I'm using Black Knight of course to do the job here and you just need quick repose 2 here, I think even 1 can work but just to be safe um, just saying quick repose 2 here and uh, I've got Nino here with a drawback You could use some other green mage uh, who has got a similar stat line in place of Nino uh, But make sure you have got drawback on them So this is really important and then I've got Olivia You just need to give her spur attack 1 and at last we have got the new free-to-play goddess air um, So she has got home speed uh, sacred seal and that's the only thing you need on her and uh, she's absolutely amazing free to play unit. I really love using her. So let's begin with the Infernal difficulty and let's do this. Um, you can actually use some other uh, dagger unit in place of air if you do not have her for some reason. Um, but make sure that dagger unit has got something like reciprocal aid. So let's just have Nino um, and all of her units over here. Now this map is relatively easy but the only problem is uh, this blue flyer I guess. Uh, who has got a blade tome and he does have aerobatics so he can definitely spook you okay. so let's just attack this lance knight and this is gonna force okay. the ai to approach us and also have this troubadour heal up this guy yes. and you just want to use drawback and yes. have your air over here and uh have black knight get the hun attack buff so we can easily just take out this lance armor knight and here you want to okay. use dance and uh, this guy cannot reach us because we took out that blue armor unit here and you just want to have black knight over here he's gonna be in the range of Sorin and uh, this axe cavalier yes. and here you do need the spur attack support from Olivia in order to take out uh, this axe cavalier with your black knight so let's just end our turn and Sorin is gonna go down because of quicker post Ike has got null follow up here for some reason instead of his um, default sword breaker. He's got this, but it really doesn't matter much. So you just want to have Black Knight attack this blue flyer. So we have got some generic uh, flying units now and some generic uh, colored bow users, colored dagger users, and also flying dragons. So Air can just take out this blue flyer. And. Her synergy with her base kit is absolutely amazing. Okay. So yeah, this Troubadour is going to be attacking you. She's got Flash. Uh, but that is fine. So you just want to attack this Troubadour. And then take her out with Black Knight. And you just want to have your units over here. So Ike is obviously following Nino. Um, but we can just get the hell out of there uh, with the help of Dance. And just have... Uh, Black Knight over here. So we can definitely use uh, some Black Luna action here. So let's have Ike take on Black Knight. You should have carried Sword Breaker instead of that null follow up. And we can just attack Ike with Black Knight here. We can easily just take him out with Black Knight because we do 21 damage. And that's gonna be the first Inferno solution with no skin intents and we took out Ike with Black Knight. So that's amazing. And now let's move on to our second um, Inferno solution. My second Inferno solution includes Young Azura and also a level 1 Burkut. Now, I do not have Olivia on this team, so this can be useful for you guys who do not have Olivia. And uh, I've got Burkut here. You could definitely use some other Lance Cavalier at level 1 in place of him. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Level 1 Perry, Oscar, Abel, anyone, to be honest. And he's just there to manipulate the AI. Um, and then I've got Ike with his vanilla skill set. Air, uh, you just need to have Guidance 1 on your air, and that's pretty much it. We don't really need any other Sacred Seal. You could even have Escape Route on your Azura if you do not have Guidance Sacred Seal forged. Um, so Escape Route could help um, on Azura. And that can be an alternative. So let's begin with the Infernal difficulty. And this has pretty low um, Sacred Seal investment cost. So you just want to have Burkut go over there and um, 
he's gonna be attracting the AI. And the AI does fly towards, uh, <laughs> towards a level 1 unit like a moth does to a lamp, so... Burkuda is gonna be used right there, and I think that's the only time I use Burkuda in my videos for using uh, him to bait out these units. And Yangazura is pretty fantastic here. Um, yeah, can easily take this hit with her Book of Shadows. And yeah, Sorin is gonna be attacking air. He has got Water Sweep, and even if he didn't have that, like, it's not like he could have doubled me. Alright, so I'm gonna turn off the animation now. Alright, so here um, I can just take out Sorin, and uh, as I said, you would uh, need Guidance here, or you could also use Escape Route. So after taking out Sorin, obviously uh, you just need to have your Azura go over there so that um, Air can be safe from any of these other units on the right side of the map. And uh, we can just use Iceberg to take out that... Playtone Flyer, and have our units go over here. And yeah, this uh, Troubadour is gonna get destroyed here. What next? Just wanna have your units over here, and Together. just wait a bit for these units to approach. Okay, so we can just take out this Axe Cavalier pretty easily uh, with air. And I can easily take care of this Ike, um, because he does not have enough speed to double us. If he had a 35 speed, that would have been troublesome, but he does not. So that's good. And uh, we don't even need Crooked Post here, because he has got Null Follow-Up, so it doesn't really mean much. So let's take out Ike with Ike. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Uh, let's turn on the animation here. I won't lose. They both have got their ether charged up. End of the line. I really love this background. I won't let anyone die. Bro, Soren has already died. Half of your teammates are dead. What are you talking about? Um, I could use air, I guess, to take out um, Ike, but that wouldn't be fun, I guess. Let's move. So we can just take out Ike with Ike. We could use Azura yes. to finish off that guy. And now you rest. Okay. I'm gonna use Azura to finish off this guy. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be your second Inferno solution. Just need a level 1 unit to beat out the AI and uh, just air destroys everyone here. And Ike takes on Ike. My third Infernal Solution uses all of the free to play gods and goddesses. Um, I've got air, you just need to give her speed plus one sacred seal. This solution does use some level one sacred seals like home speed um, on Olivia. And I've got Ike, you just need to give him quicker post one sacred seal, you don't even need uh, version two or three. And at last we have got Fionn, the princess who has been forgotten by everyone now. Um, so you need to give her spur speed one sacred seal and that's pretty much it. All of the speed is to make sure that Air does not get doubled by that uh, Blade Tome Flyer after he gets that speed uh, tactic buff. Alternatively, you could just have speed plus 3 if you have that upgraded or even darting stance here. Um, it's up to you, but I just decided to use these level 1 sacred seals. So let's begin with the Infernal difficulty. And if you've got all of these free to play units, you can easily just use them um, for this Lucian. And Olivia is here to manipulate the AI, of course, because... Uh, this blue flyer is gonna be following Olivia, so I'm just gonna be having Ike over here and Fiam over here So air can just initiate this combat uh, by attacking this Lance Knight and now they're gonna be after us Yeah, that guy is gonna get healed up and here comes Soren. so you just wanna have your other units in the safe spot and Soren is gonna get taken out by his friend Ike. So he's probably really sad here. If we think about it, this could really mess up with the brains of like a lot of these heroes that we summon. We just put them against their friends. 
and uh, have them battle to death, most likely. So yeah, Summoner is pretty cruel, if you think about it. So, let's just take out this Axe Cavalier. And we can just have Fionn over here, Ike over here, and uh, because of the speed support that Fionn is going to be providing, and Air has got with the home speed support and speed plus one, she will not get doubled by this blue flyer, because she does get plus four speed from her um, dagger, that I'm not going to bother pronouncing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, she's gonna easily survive this, and um, I can attack the arm. And we can easily take yes. out this blue flyer. Yes. I guess we can okay. use uh, air to get this kill on Ike with her iceberg. And now you rest. Okay, the same special coat. Yeah, Air is so amazing. She's so fast uh, with her weapon and so Sparrow. Like, she's going to be doing amazing on the Abyssal difficulties, I'm guessing. Um, we haven't really got any kind of Abyssal Legend Hero battle right now, so I cannot really tell. But looking at her stats, she's going to be amazing in Legend Hero battles. Because her speed is really nice to double a lot of the even Abyssal enemies. And um, she can prevent follow-up attack with her... Dagger, so that is really nice. That can just take care of stuff like Crooker Post on Abyssal maps. And uh, I guess we can use Bjorn to get this kill on the Stubudar. For Lunatic difficulty, I'm gonna be using these free to play units with no Sacred Seal and, of course, no Sclarentons. And uh, even a really, really new player who has just started playing can still do this map on Lunatic with this team um, because it doesn't really use any kind of Sacred Seal. And we do not have that Troubadour on the map with Flash say, um, on Lunatic here. Sure. Yes. And that's nice because this Lance Knight is not going to get healed up then. So we can just have our units over here and Death's we can just have Air be in the range of Sorin and this Blue Flyer. And we can have Fearm okay. give uh, Air the Drive Attack buff. And, yeah, we can take out this guy with Iceberg. Yes. So, sure. As you say, the glimmer of life. Orders, please. Yes, right. And we can just have uh, Olivia take on this Axe Cavalier. It's gonna go down. On it. All right. Yes, Death's Caress. And we can actually finish okay. off Ike here and then okay. take out this Lance Knight with the Robin. And that's gonna be your Lunatic Solution with free to play units with no Sclare Intense. And now let's summon on the Banterer Battle banner. Um, it has got Elencia with Soren and Ike. Who would want this normal Ike? Everyone has got Legendary Ike uh, for free. Um, so let's summon on this banner and see if I can get Elencia. Nope, I cannot. Wow, okay. I guess I'm gonna go with the colorless stone, trying to get someone like Soth here. I didn't even get the colors <laughs> of the focus unit on this free session. Okay, so I'm gonna get Virian. Ugh. Why do you want to get bullied by me? Why do you even get summoned? Okay, so I'm gonna use my free ticket for today on this Eurofest banner. Now, I have got all of these units, obviously. Air is a free-to-play unit, and I'm not really all that much interested into running in the race of uh, Ether Raids ranking. So I don't really care about getting plus 10 merge mythic heroes or something like that, because I only spend on this game to get, like, heroes just to collect them to make more content, um, like summoning sessions and theme battles. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get Ophelia. I really want to get a better IV Ophelia, so I'm gonna try to do that. Um... I'm gonna use my free ticket here. I'm really hoping I can get her. Okay, I'm gonna get Roderick. I guess I'm gonna try on the second blue stone because if you just get into the race of uh, running after the rankings, it just starts to get unfun, I guess. And I'm gonna get Oscar. Okay, no affiliate for me, I guess. So 
I'm gonna back out. And that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Thank you.